Hello, I'm Carrie with Happy Fish Tarot, reeling in wisdom from the Sea of Tarot, and you are watching Tarot Tuesday. I have been thinking a lot lately about the concept of, I guess you could say, self-love. So when you reach a certain age, when you become an adult, you need to learn how to work with yourself, how to get yourself to be productive, to be inspired, and to be the best version of you that you possibly can. And there's a few different kind of schools of thought of how you can talk to yourself in your own head and get yourself to live the life and be the person that you really want to be. So there's one school of thought that is more of the self-discipline camp. So this would be the school of thought that says you need to be very strict with yourself, that you should set really firm schedules and follow those, um, that you need to be really strong with your self-discipline, all of that kind of thing. And then there's this whole other school of thought, which is more of the nurturing camp. So the, this side would say that the best way to work with yourself is to be really soothing and really nurturing and to try to kind of coax yourself into doing the things that you know you need to do. And as I thought about these different ways of uh, approaching your self-talk, I realized that they can kind of be represented by the emperor and the empress. So the emperor, of course, is more of the kind of tough love, self-discipline approach, and then the empress is a little more of the nurturing and soothing approach. I've experienced for myself that within my own psyche, I have my own little inner emperor and empress and they tend to come out in different situations and show themselves in how I talk to myself and how I interact with myself. For most of us, I think the way we're kind of conditioned is that we have a very strong emperor inside of us and sometimes this part of us can become so strong that it actually becomes damaging. What I mean by this is you start to become sort of abusive towards yourself. You experience a lot of negative self-talk, you tell yourself that you're lazy, you're very critical of yourself. Those are the kind of things that I find happen when the emperor within you is taken full reins and you're sort of neglecting the empress. The Empress, on the other hand, when she's put in full control, you might be a little bit too coddling with yourself. So you let yourself get away with too much. Um, this is something that I see a lot in kind of the personal growth, uh, spiritual development community. I was scrolling through Facebook last week and I came across this picture that had a caption that said something like, be gentle with yourself, you're doing the best you can, which is a very empress-like sentiment to express. And don't get me wrong, I really like the, the, the sentiment behind this, but as I looked at it, I, I couldn't help but think to myself, well, technically I am scrolling through Facebook and I really should be working on my business or writing or cleaning the house. Uh, there's a lot of things on my to-do list and I'm just sitting scrolling through Facebook. So is it okay for me to just tell myself it's okay, you're doing the best you can? I think that this is something we tend to forget as well. We kind of know that the emperor side of us can get out of control, we're, we're mostly aware of that, but I think we kind of forget that the, the empress side as well can sometimes take the reins by itself, and that's not the best way for us to work with ourselves either. What I found is 
it, the best approach is to find a middle ground between these two, or I guess a better way to put that would be I try to strive for these two aspects of my personality to work together instead of letting one of them take complete control in any given situation. Before I go too much further, I do want to just stress, I, I kind of already talked about this, but I understand that as a whole, as a human species, I think that the the emperor part of us it has been very overvalued for a very long time. So I'm not saying I have any problem with all of these touchy-feely graphics on Facebook. I think it's great. Um, I think it's balancing out something that's been kind of out of whack in our culture for quite a while. Um, but you can't just get rid of this part of of your psyche either. You, you do need to have some semblance of self-discipline and of course it needs to be balanced with the self-love and the nurturing. So I think what I really want to strive for and what we all should be striving for is to have the best versions of the Emperor and the Empress working within our heads. Not letting either of them take the reins completely and get us completely out of whack and having them work together so that we really can exercise and change our lives for the better and do all of these great things that we want to do but that we can also be practicing self-love in the process. So this has probably been one of my ramblier videos. I hope I have gotten some kind of coherent point across. Thank you as always for watching. I do put out videos every Tuesday so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you haven't yet already done so you can check out my website at happyfishtarot.com. I am available there for private readings via email. I will catch you next time.